sing a tell your song, you will rejoice. I would be glad it is. I heard Pastor Bob, no matter what happened before I got here, now that I'm here, I set my mind to the will of God. I set my heart to the will of God. Hallelujah, come on.
from here. Hallelujah. The Bible asks us the question, what shall separate us from the love of God? Who's going to separate you from the love of God? Nobody. Nothing, no thing. Hallelujah, no weapon that's thrown against me. Hallelujah, it will not prosper. It will not perform in my life. Come on here. Shoot your best shot. It won't work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God be for me, who can be against me? Hallelujah. My latter days shall be greater. <laughs> My latter days shall look at Abraham. Look at Sarah. I know you got an enemy, Hannah. Hallelujah. That's strong with my people. Even if it's in your thoughts. Someone said, You been so good to me. Come on, everybody. Lord, you were good. 
come on, y'all gotta learn how to receive what God is saying to the church. Will not keep my words. Oh, no. 
But I want to talk about this morning, clean your mirror. All right, come on. And I want to start here that we need the Holy Spirit. This is just a spinoff from last week. Yeah. We need yeah. the Holy Spirit yeah. in our lives yeah. to reflect the image of Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's good. Amen. We, the whole thing is Jesus came as an example to our life. To, as he lived, as he died, he showed himself obedient to the Father. Yeah. And he patterned and made a pattern of how we should live our lives. And our reflection should be as Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all started in Genesis 1 and 26. And get that for me real quick in the Amplified Bible. One and twenty-six. Then God said, Let us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, make man in our own image, according to our likeness, not physical, but a spiritual personality and moral likeness. Come on. And let them have complete authority over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the cattle, and over the entire earth, mm -hmm. and over everything that creeps and crawls on the earth. Yeah. So God created man in his own image. All right, stop right there now. In his own image. Yeah. What's our topic for the day? Clean the mirror. Clean the mirror. Come on. Yeah. I think about even my wife, I'm telling you, I think about even as I break my teeth out. Two pages get all in the mirror. Uh -huh. And she ain't gonna let me go with that either. Yeah. And you ain't gonna have to leave the bathroom and have all that stuff in the mirror. You better get the Windex up and clean that mirror because she, she don't want to see a streak in it. And that's what God said. I don't even want to see a streak in it. Come on here. Help us, Jesus. Yes, clean us up. Help us. Help a mirror is defined as a surface that reflects or anything that gives a true image of a person or a thing. A true image. A true image. Come on, the mirror don't lie. Uh-uh. We look in the mirror, we look at our reflection of who we are. Yeah. We look at Get up in the morning, you bathroom, and get in the mirror, look just to see do we look the same as we look last. Yeah. Oh, yes, oh, my, my, my. But it's the strangest thing, though, about a mirror, yeah. about us men and women. Mm -hmm. Men look different in the mirror than a woman. Okay. You know how we do, we know we just get up and look at ourselves and you know, just move on. Uh -huh. <laughs> but women, we are so different well. when it comes to a mirror. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> woman to fit a mirror is basically our best friend yeah. from a woman's standpoint of view. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Many times, me and my wife get ready to go somewhere, come to church or whatever. You know, like I said, I get up and do my thing, look in the mirror, and, and just move on. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. But y'all women, y'all have seven mirrors. Y'all yeah. 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 have seven mirrors. Mm -hmm. You know, we get up and just make sure everything okay, we move on, but y'all got to go through a whole bunch of rituals. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Just to make sure. Yes. So first of all, you get up in the morning, you stay with you today, prime example. Don't tell it all, Bishop. Don't tell it all. <laughs> prime example. Get up and go to the bathroom, pass by the mirror, just looking at myself. You know, uh, like I said, I'm dead and moved on, but you no, know, she doesn't. She well, take herself. You can tell it's all right. And then the next, you know, the next thing, you know, we still trying to get here, but I find myself running late, not because I ain't ready, because she's not ready, because she's still having a conversation with the mirror. Right. You hear the bitch? Come on, tell the truth. 
So when she done, so when she done put her clothes on, when she back in the mirror. And she, my wife, I made her, you know, a vanity stand, so she have another mirror. So she have a mirror just to put on makeup. And I already checked myself, I'm already ready, so I'm still at the second mirror. She's still at the second mirror. So after that, even coming out of that, we get in the car, we get ready to leave, we ride down to the church. She got to pull the sun body down, that is another mirror. I see myself. Some of us, I see some of us, they can come straight in, go straight to the bathroom. Because there is another mirror in the bathroom. And I'm telling you, I've seen it too. I'm seeing it. some of us have shouted. We ain't gonna just go sit down. We gotta go to the bathroom and check the mirror to make sure we look. The point. Yeah. Uh -huh. If that ain't good enough, we come sit down and then we got a compact mirror in the purse. And I might, this all might sound comical, but it's all about image. And God told me to tell you, you need to check the mirror because it's all about image. And he said, all the mirrors you checking to make sure you look good, are you doing this in the spirit? Oh, Come on here. How much do you look like me? Jesus. Jesus. John 4 and 24 says, it said, God is a spirit. Yeah. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. truth. You gotta be honest. Yeah. Because the image that you display shows how you look. Yeah. All right. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's turn to Ephesians chapter 3, verse 19 through 21. Hallelujah. Um, the King James. Ephesians 3 and 19. And to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Uh -huh. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask for thee according to the power that worketh in us. All right, stop right there. And that's the problem. Come on. Where's the power? Where's the power? Come on, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Lord, I thank Where's you. the power? Yeah. Because it reveals the image. Come on. It reveals the image. Yeah. Going back up to this first scripture in the last of uh, the, the last clause of chapter, I mean, verse number 26. Uh, of John 14 and it said and he will help you remember everything that I told you yeah, yeah. see the point is we yeah. can't look we don't have an image of God yeah. because we don't allow the spirit of God to live in us yeah. it don't, we don't allow the spirit of God to, to dwell in us we don't allow the spirit of God to drive our life That's right. come on, come on, come on. so we distort the image so we ask ourselves a question. How do I know I'm walking in the spirit of God? How do you know if you're walking truly in the spirit of God? First thing you have to ask yourself, what is your state of obedience? What is your state of obedience? Is the Holy Spirit active Come on. in you? Come on wow. Come on I guess the biggest thing is how often is he used in you? How 
do I know I'm walking in the spirit of God? Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 25 in the Amplified Version. Galatians 5 and 22. But the fruit of the Spirit, the result of His presence within us, is love. Uh -huh. right. Stop right there. I'm sorry. Come on. Do you hear that? Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. He said the result of His presence within us uh -huh. is love. Is love. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh -oh. Make that word again. My God, what else is said today? But the fruit of the Spirit, the result of His presence within us is love. Unselfish concern for others. Oh, Unselfish oh, concern oh, for others. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to tell you, we're talking about the image of a habit of uh, the image of Christ. The image of Christ. Yeah. We're talking about cleaning your mirrors the morning. Yeah. What do your mirror show? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Uh oh, what that love like look like. It said Love. And it said unselfish concern for others. What else it says? Joy, inner peace. Joy and inner peace. And we are, I'm telling you. This is good. Yeah. We're talking about really having the spirit of God. I ain't talking about your definition of what the, what you should look like. But what God says he had already given to all of us. What else it says? Patience. Not the ability to wait, but how we act while we wow. yeah. 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 so Not just patience, yes, yes, but the state of mind yes. while we wait. Yes. Yes. Some of us, we so quick to want to quit. We so impatient when it comes to getting a fire, when we get in a place where we don't know what to do. We want, to, we want God to deliver us so quick. So, but if you go back right here, you're talking yes, about the, the fruit of the spirit. Yeah. And we ain't talking about multiple fruit. Come on. Come on now. You said fruit. Yeah. Single. One. Mm -hmm. Fruit. <laughs> fruit. Mm -hmm. Kindness. Goodness. Faithfulness. Gentleness. Self-control. Yeah. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature together with his passions and appetites. Yeah. If we claim to live by the Holy Spirit, we must also walk by the Spirit huh? with personal integrity. Oh, 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 oh it gives us a description uh -huh. yeah. how we should look. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It gives us a description of image. Yeah. If you really looked at yourself spiritually, how do you look? I say, God, I, I, I do that right there. I do this right here, but I need to work on this. Keep reading. If we claim to live by the Holy Spirit, we must also walk by the Spirit. With personal, personal integrity, godly character, and moral courage. Our conduct empowered by the Holy Spirit. We must not become conceited, challenging, or provoking one another or any another. Do you hear that? I want you to hear that. Read that again. We must not become conceited, challenging, or provoking one another or any one another. So, let's talk about it for a minute. What does the fruit of the Spirit really look like? I brought something to give you an example. Brought a banana. The first thing you see is color, right? What color do you see? It's much more to this banana than just the color. That is a covering. 
that houses all of the ingredients inside this community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like he said in the spirit, what is the first thing? Come on, love. And this is basically what he said, if this is truly love, everything else is inside. And when you see a good, healthy banana, it looks like this. Goodness and mercy, it said joy, goodness, all the ingredients are inside of it. And it reflects the health of the banana by everything that's inside of it. But what I didn't understand yesterday, until yesterday, really, a banana goes bad from the inside out. The banana goes bad from the inside out because if the ingredients in the inside start going bad, then the color change on the outside. So it dissipates or it, it dismisses what it's showing. It doesn't look the same. And this is what many of y'all look like. But this is what my love looks like for real. Because I have no goodness. My goodness is bad on the inside. Because I have no joy. This is what my banana looks like. The health of my banana is not because of what's on the outside. The outside is just holding everything on the inside. If I got truly, I got love. Then it's in there. And it's active. And it's activated. It's moving. It's working. And what I had come to understand too about the banana is you have to eat it. It can't just sit up and not do nothing. It's going going bad if it just sit up. It has to be activated in your life. It has to be activated. You can sit them now and be sit up in the store and stuff like that. You, are, I, I'm going in now. I'm looking for the pretty ones. Yeah. But I know even if I pick them up, oh, I gotta use them soon. Oh, because if I don't use them soon, they start turning. Oh, All the ingredients. Who eats a vanilla that looks like this? Oh, yeah. But I'm just saying, it's not healthy. Because all the things that's inside of it is going bad. And then that, what's going on inside of it, and then it turns and it looks like this. Where is my love? My love looks contaminated. It looks decimated. And this is what he's saying about us. How do we look to God for real? We're, we try to appear to each other to look like this. But God said he really look like this. He's still talking about people. He's still tearing down people carrying. He's still jealous of people. All the things that, is, that, the, that the spirit does not represent. And this is what he said to us this morning. Clean your mirror. Clean your mirror. Stop looking through a distorted glass. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 7, verse 16 through 20. Chapter 7, verse 16 through 20. Oh, uh, King James. Matthew 7 and 16. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or thieves of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. 
Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Wow. I take number 20 by itself. Uh -huh. Wherefore by their fruit you should know them. Yeah. Clean your mirror. Yeah. What does your image look like? Yeah. God said, I created you to look like me. A reflection of Jesus Christ. Healthy. Love is the outside. And everything else is on the inside. When those other things are not being displayed or used, it actually takes a toll on really how your love really looks. It's so true. It's so true. It's so true. I love you. 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 And don't show anything that looks like love. We walking around like this here. I love you. This is the way you really look. Yeah, yeah. And God is telling us, it's all about looking like my son. I'm telling you, when we get ready to go back and meet him, okay. you say, you better look like my son. Okay. You better look like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. You better have love in your heart. Yeah. You better have joy and peace. Peace is good to be called the, the Spirit of God. That's what the Spirit of God does. It holds us in place even when things go wrong. Yes. It knows what's ahead. And the biggest thing Jesus was telling them, he said, and it will help you remember everything that I've told you. Yeah. A lot of times when temptation comes, he said, I will help you. The Spirit of God will help you remember what I've told you. Yeah. Lead me not into temptation, yeah. but deliver me from the evil yeah. that's around me. Yeah. Clean your mirror. Yes. Last scripture, Galat Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. Hallelujah. But I say walk habitually in the spirit, in Holy Spirit. Seek him and be responsive to his guidance. And then you will certainly not carry out the desire of the sinful nature, which responds impulsively without regard for God and his precepts. For the sinful nature has its desire, which is opposed to the spirit. Do you hear that? It's, it's actually against. So if we were not walking in the spirit of God, then we're walking in our own spirit. Yeah, yeah. That's contrary to the spirit of God. That makes us carry out these temptations and the things that come up against us. He said we've got to walk in the spirit and we're gonna feel, fulfill the lust yeah. of the flesh. Yeah. And that's what he said to us, we need to all clean our mirror. We need to look again. And just, you know, as we were talking earlier about all those mirrors that, you know, your women, y'all use and stuff, and that's what he said, won't you pursue me? with that kind of passion. Yeah. Yeah. You always want to make sure that you look right. Yeah. Anything that's messed up, I'm trying to fix, or I'm trying to cover up. You know how y'all do, you see a blemish or a bump, uh -huh. or whatever, you'll put extra makeup on. Yeah. Everything, anything that you need to do to make sure yeah. you got the right image. Yeah. And that's what he said to all of us today, clean, your mirror. Yeah. If you walk in the spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yeah. Father God, I thank you for your word, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for what you have said in this place, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for showing us the way to go, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father God, that you're maturing us yes, in your word, Father God, that we walk, Father God, according to your word, Father God. We love you, Father God. We give your name the praise. We give your name the honor, Father God. We give your name the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God a hand, come with praise.